Okay, so we are in Cult of the Cryptids, and it's going to be a little bit of a weird video. It's going to take a long time, so this might take a while. We're going to be breaking Cult of the Cryptids, and you don't need like any hacks whatsoever. Uh, also, I really like this new lobby with the cryptids actually uh, coming on. I really like Lighthead. I kind of wish uh, Chapter 1 Siren Head did that. But this is only in Chapter 2. You can only do this in Chapter 2. I don't even want a mouse out. I don't know why, but whenever you load into Cult of the Cryptids, like, it just deletes your mouse. So, you need to do that. Um, they have recently updated Cult of the Cryptids Chapter 2. Um, it's actually a pretty nostalgic one, but it's just for looks and purposes right now. Let's get this cutscene over with so we can get into the game. But we're going to be glitching out the map, and it is a weird process on how you do it. It can take a really long time, um, now... Now, Cult of the Cryptids, uh, Chapter 1, you cannot do this in Chapter 1, because there's only less, like, building blocks also, um, it says, like, here that God of Roadkill on Cult of the Cryptids, and, like, um, there's no change with God of Roadkill that I've seen, and they've also removed Ending 5 and the Ancient Totems badge, so that kind of, uh, makes me curious, I'm why that was removed but um quick update so the key now has uh any highlighted items to d kind of direct you where they go they have this dust particle now and i guess that's one of the many complaints that they got was like uh not being able to know what to do especially in this corridor right here you won't be able to know what to do so trigger her or her to get rid of the statue. Right and then you come down here, get the flashlights and whatnot. Oh, excuse me. Come over here, they also added it on here as well. And it's not really wanting to move. I do have night vision, so I'll probably be using that every now and then. Uh, so for you to, in order for you to kind of like break the map, you don't need hacks or anything to do this. This is kind of just like a natural occurrence that it can happen in any Roblox game. This can happen within the main map too, but this is like how you can get into the main map without any barriers around the map. There's also dust particles here. They also, uh, it seems like they updated, hold on, oh, okay. that's done. They also, like, I think they updated this room here, too, because there's, like, these little things on the wall here that I've never, uh, noticed. So, uh, you don't need to go in here. You don't need this room at all, because that just takes you straight to the main map. So, you're gonna have to go through here, and you go through the cartoon cat maze and the whole entire other section. See a little cartoon cat in there. Uh, I kind of wish they removed the SCP ambience, because it does, it's, like... It doesn't really fit the Cult of the Cryptids kind of nature vibes, because it just keeps reminding me of, like, SCP. Like, that's it. Like, I don't want to be chased down by Siren Head, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, or just SCP ambience with there. So, obviously, you grab the, uh, the lighter, um, clothes and such. Uh, you get the clothes. Vacuum. Also, uh, yeah, it gives you like little hints now. Um, I'm pretty sure these are Legos because, like, you can kind of see like the ridges bumps, so which is kind of cool. Um, another thing that's also been getting added to Cult of the Cryptids is that they're starting to add back the sound effects. Um, Last night, whenever I was playing, whenever I did the glitch, I noticed Unknown Howl had a new sound effects, and, uh, it's not the Unknown Howl, unfortunately, like, I kinda wish the developers did go on YouTube and get the Howl, cause Unknown Howl's, like, how original Howl sound from this game, it is on YouTube. Uh, let's place the vacuum. I kinda like how they, 
uh, did this here with, okay, no, that's the lighter. Oh, yeah, I need to click there. So, nothing's really changed here in this part of the map, apart from just, like, you know, SCP ambience. Also, I'm kind of upset that they removed the moving clouds, because for quite a while they had uh, moving clouds in this chapter. Now, for this glitch to happen, I do recommend having low graphics, because, um... Because I think whenever you get into the main map, it does have everything that you're not around despawn. Like, this right here, this is set to despawn. I think whenever, like, the cutscene initiates, or whenever you get the, uh, the frostbite ending, because you it automatically get teleported to the, um, the other section. So, after you get this cutscene over with and turn around... Um... So, randomly a jeep on the side of the road that gets frozen. And oh, I just noticed that! That's new! I don't know if y'all saw that, but there was a light head siren head there. I didn't notice that. Probably really got clingy. Uh, the thing in the lobby. That was pretty cool. I just noticed that. I don't know how long that was even there for. Also, downed power line. Uh, if you see this in real life, don't touch that because there's still voltage going through that. I really like how they put like signs of Siren Head like being everywhere. Like, because we are still technically in Seven Devils. Uh, also, oh, you can't collide? Oh, you can collide with this now, okay. Originally, you couldn't, because you could just walk right through that thing. Unless I'm, uh, talking about a different car, I don't know. Um, so, this glitch pretty much cannot get fixed, because this can happen with any cryptid. Um, but you do risk yourself of dying a little bit, but in this terms of effect, you don't need to. Uh, also there's an old radio that doesn't even play any music. Um, you can also bypass all of this right here. You don't need to kill the, uh, the cultists. You don't need to collect any logs. You can just come over here. Um, also, um, questions about how I did, like, get the cultist chase theme or whatever, like, whenever they chase you. You can get sound IDs from, like, a certain... I think... I don't know what, how you get the menu, but it's, like, a menu pop-up. And it lets you know of, like, errors and, like, stuff that's within the game. So, I just, like, found the ID. Because I went through, like... I did this with, like, other games. I did it with the Mimic as well. But, like, all the Mimic sound effects were, like, on the catalog. But I did the same thing with the Mimic because I was, like, a dumb and whatever. I didn't want to check. But anyways, um... You can just click right through here, because there's no barrier here. They also updated uh, Cartoon Cat's footsteps again, and I don't know if this was here before. A loose chain and a big frog. I don't really know if that was there. But, uh, yeah, they updated Cartoon Cat's footsteps again. It used to be, like... Okay, he's going to be walking around that corner there. There he is. Oh, he saw me? Oh god, he's coming down here. Oh, hey buddy! Uh, I can explain. Oh, you came back. <laughs> Dang it. I guess he didn't turn that corner fast enough. Okay, well. It's the first time I've actually been jumped. Well, no. Oh, I lost my flashlight. Oh, hi. Why are you there again, dude? <laughs> That's weird. He's never given me that much trouble before. Eh. It's all because I have his freaking backpack on my head. Um, no, I'm not gonna mess up the candle because it goes out when you run. second half. I don't know. Because the 
way that this AI works. Oh, I'm gonna use it. The way that this AI works is that um, if you dive around a corner, obviously they won't follow you or they won't see you and whatever. Oh, yep, I was right. Okay, I made a good call. So he can't see you whenever you're behind this door now. They kind of fixed that. I guess they made it so they can, you can't glitch him right here or whatever. Are you coming back? There's also this. So this is apparently their hideout. Apparently they live with Cartoon Cat. cartoon cat. I really like how they have like easter eggs all over the place of like the old cryptids. Like it's really cool. So you basically need to go up on onto the way of you need to go through here. And I think um I think this basically kind of gives off a little bit of lore because that right here that's the um the the mother of the cult mask cuz um cuz you um that's basically what the mother of the cult wears in chapter 1 oh this like i didn't notice this there's like a little car a rusty toy car oh god he actually does walk down here now i knew he was getting closer okay then did not know that okay so you need to go out here, and what you need to do, you need to avoid going to the main map by, like, going into that elevator. Um, so, once the land loads in here. So you basically come out here. Is the foot still over here? There's, like, a foot. For you, those of you who don't know, there's, like, a random foot. Over here somewhere. I don't. I don't really remember where it is. So I'm going to find it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's like a random foot. Vaxila's foot. Yeah. Um. You not want to go over there. You're gonna want to go to uh, ending four. Now, a lot of y'all probably like. Uh, know this glitch from we're like, oh, well, he's just gonna do that glitch where he does ending four then resets himself They fix that now. So whenever you die in ending four or try and reset you respawn at ending four. So unless if you just die or whatever because uh, So yeah, you're just gonna go to go to, go to uh, ending four you're gonna want to kill mother megaphone now you can do this glitch with, um, also, she's, like, really, she's, like, the most buggiest cryptid. Also, her teeth float. Um. So, you're gonna want to kill, um, Mother Megaphone. Oh, me megaphone. Remember which one this one is. Actually, bigger than the siren. So, the siren would actually be able to walk under here, I believe.
she doesn't spe spew out blood anymore, or ketchup, I should say. Now, this glitch can also uh, get you out of the map. That way you can go see Misty Guess, but for some odd reason, the past few times I've been doing this glitch, or loaded up this area, um, Misty Guess has not spawned in for me at all. And I don't know why. So now, also, you don't need to kill these guys down here, because it'll probably trigger ending four. But, um, you can get out the map, you can go see, uh, Breaking News. You can't touch him, you can't kill him. He doesn't really do anything to you, he just, uh, stays there, but... You can try this glitch out with, uh, Mother Megahorn, or Mother Megaphone, but she is really, like... She'll kill you into, in, like, two hits, but... It is really, really difficult to do it with her, but it's a lot more easier to do it with Big Charlie since Big Charlie doesn't attack you. So, what you want to do is that since Big Charlie, you know, can't kill Big Charlie anyways, he's friendly in this chapter. But, what you want to do is that you just want to kind of like run, you need to be sprinting, you just need to run back and forth underneath him and jump around. Yeah, because that, that's what you want to do. Now, you will get flung through the map and I'll show you like... It will respawn you. See, it'll respawn you here now. Um, now, if when you do do this glitch, you need to be careful because you can fall off the map and it'll take you right back here. Because you can't get out of the map, obviously, because there's like barriers all over the place. But because Noah did a really good, a lot more of a better job on placing the barriers in this game than on uh, Chapter One, because you can easily get out of the map on Chapter One if like a certain area doesn't load. Yeah, um, this will involve you dying a few times, but yeah, all you need to do is just do what I was doing with Big Charlie there, and depending on how it works, you can get flung either fast enough to bypass the barrier, uh, detection radius, I must, uh, disappeared there, or he can fly you over because there's no barrier that's protecting you from the top. Now, you can't kill Big Charlie, obviously, like I said, because uh, he's friendly and whatnot. But yeah, you just need to keep doing that. So, this can uh, somewhat happen with Mother Megahorn, but she is very hard to cooperate with, and she kills you in two hits. And you can't do it with the cultists either, because they'll kill you. They're the same size as you, and you can't launch them. But... You can, you can get the cultists launched by Big Charlie. That's also a thing, too. You don't want to get too close, because then they're, they'll probably chase you. But, um... Also, I don't know why stopping a cultist right there, like the cultist here, has like an ending. Or why it's like called the breaking news ending. I'm guessing because, like, he watches it or whatever. Now, weird fact about these hills and about these trees, because I did do this glitch like two times yesterday, but the first time it was with Mother Megahorn, and it was by accident. I was wanting to see if Mother Megahorn had a jump scare, and she didn't, unfortunately. So, you'll, yeah, so, oh, yeah, okay, that was a close call. So, yeah, that's basically what you need to do. Now, you can get flown far enough to where you might end up in the main map or on, like, another one of the maps over there. But, um, the reason why I'm saying that is because the mountains right here, they're collidable. You can get out the map, and they're touching the main map. There's two of them. The, that one and the, these two mountains right here, they're meshes. So, you can climb those mountains and go into the map. And the main, it takes you to the main map, because the main map is, like, right, like, right over there. And, um, yeah. So the main map is, like, hold on, where's the perspective? Yeah. The main map is, like, right over here. And that, like, uh, that little ending, like, where you go across the bridge to go into the main map, it's somewhere over here, because that's where you see Misty Guest. Uh, or it's like some over here. I don't know if there's maybe like a trigger for Misty Guest. I don't know if they removed him for a little bit. My Oh no, there he is! He's right there! Okay, so if I get out the map, I'll probably go and see him, see what he looks like up close, because I know that's probably a lot of um Yeah. 
I know that's probably like a lot of um, wonders and curiosities on what Mr. Guest looks like up close. He probably looks like um, breaking news. Because breaking news is just like all solid black with like a fabric material. And you can't touch him. He has like an invisible barrier around him. So I'm guessing that's just to keep him in place or whatever. But yeah, there's, um, there's Misty Guest. I didn't even notice Misty Guest on him. Because the last two times... Because uh, normally whenever you come in here, Misty Guest spawns like right here. And he'll be like walking around and whatnot. So yeah, he wanders on the outside of the map. You can't get to him. Um, but yeah, you can get... Now, the barriers aren't high enough. I'm pretty sure they go to the exact, like, uh, height of that Siren Head statue. Or the giant Siren Head totem. I think it's a totem, because I think it's a fellow totem or whatever. Um, anyways... Yeah, I guess, like, if I get out of the map, I'll go and see, uh, Misty Guest. Because I've never really seen him up close. The closest you can get is because that area where you have to, like, put the gar gar the gargoyle statues on the thingy, whatever. You do need to have, like... Okay. Oh! Oh! Did I do it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're doing it. Okay, put... Okay. Okay, this is it. I think. I hope so. Okay, we'll see if I got out the map, because there is a short... Please tell me. I'm out the map! Okay, so... This over here, this is just like... Okay, so... Yeah, you need to do exactly that with Big Charlie. So, you can easily get out the map over here, because the barrier is like a short... Is like a lot more shorter over here. Um... Yeah, as you can see, you can walk in the mountains and for some reason there are fabric material. And all you need to do is just go over this mountain right here and you're in the main map. You can kind of see the snow there. Because this map right here and that map right there, they're kind of close to each other. Now, you can trigger the cryptids in the main map. Uh, but there's like a certain way you need to do it. But first, we're going to go say hello to Misty Guest because... I know a lot of people are probably wondering what he looks like up close. He's probably has like no texture or whatever because you're not meant to see him up close and whatnot. But anyways, um, this is kind of like a follow up on, um, oh, uh oh, did I glitch back into the map? Oh, I think the, yeah, the barrier exceeds all the way over here on this side. Okay. I need to go around. Yeah, there we go. The barriers are, are, are not that big, they're not that thick, so you don't need to, um, hang yourself there. But yeah, you need to go around this way. Because, nor now normally Misty Guest kind of makes like this sound, like, grumbling sound. I guess they didn't, uh, head it back for him. But yeah, we got Misty Guest, uh, in the flesh, I guess, over here. Now, um... Yeah, you can kind of see the main map. That right there is the main map. I don't know why there's, like, also a platform underneath here that kind of does that. Now, I don't know if Misty Guest kills you. This is the first time I'm going over to Misty Guest, so, um, you win some, you lose some. But we can do the glitch again. I'll probably cut out until we, like, get the glitch again. Uh, there's also, like, a barrier right there, so you can need to get around. Yeah, um, that right there, that is the main map. That's where the cabin is, because the cabin is a little bit over there. Like I said, you just need to climb that mountain right there, and you're on the main map, and you're good to go. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, there's the stuff they added in. So, I kind of wish, I don't know if Noah's going to come back and work on this, because I'm pretty sure he's not. Oh, oh yeah, okay, so this mountain right here, can't walk on it, because, uh, Misty Guest needs to go through it. Yeah, um, it's essentially over there, that, no, it's over here where you can't, you can get to, uh, that's where you see Misty Guest normally. Yeah, he's right there, so, it's kind of weird, because I could have sworn you could interact with that mountain. But, um, you need to be careful because 
This right here too, can't collide with it either, unless I'm mistaken, maybe you can, maybe you can't. But, I'd recommend being careful. Now down here, you can, I think you can jump on this, right? Nope, oh, <laughs> oops. Oh, you know what? Misty Guess probably glides now. Okay, well, I kind of screwed myself over there, because... That was an oopsie on me. Okay, well, um, don't do that. Don't remember my mistakes. Yeah, um, uh, I guess I'll cut away to the point where I, um... Yeah, he seems like he's moving. I don't know if he's gliding or not. I don't know. We'll see. Because he kind of just moves along. But yeah, we're just, uh, we'll cut away until, uh, Big Charlie kind of just flings us over the map. So that's what I'll do. Okay, uh, we're back. And got flung over the map, uh, first try, like, literally after I paused it, so I didn't have to wait long. Um, I think you can collide with these mountains. I'm not sure. Of course, then again, I'll just cut away if it looks so. Okay, yeah, you can collide with these mountains. And fun fact about these trees, these trees are like the same material as like the mountains. And we're gonna go try and see if we can uh, go see Misty Guest up close, because he's kind of a strange individual, if you ask me. He's just... Now, he might be walking around on an invisible platform, that could be the case, because that is what Unknown Hal does, too. And uh, speaking of which, since since there's no barriers on the outside, you can actually go and touch uh, Unknown Hal whenever he's not in the map, because I kind of just like explain it whenever I spawn in the cryptids. Also, there's something really cool about Unknown Hal now that they added it into the game. And I think... Because I remember this mountain. I remember this mountain right here. I think... You can jump... I have a night vision for this. I don't know. I think you can jump... Yeah, right here. Oh, wait. Huh? Wait, so that's kind of weird. Okay, so for context, I was able to walk in that mountain yesterday. So, I guess we can't go see, uh, Misty Guest up close. Oh, well. No. Well, that's kind of weird, because I remember, I vividly remember being able to walk in that mountain earlier. Or yesterday. That's kind of weird. Anyways, I guess I'll, uh, cut away to, again until we get locked off the map again. Alright, we're out of the map again. Uh, it took me quite a while, because he flung me, like... A lot of times I'm above the map, outside of the map, and all over the, uh, the place. So... I actually thought that Misty Guest, like, wanders over here. Or, like, around over here, but... Apparently... You can't get on that mountain anymore, which is kind of weird, because I remember getting on that mountain once. But if we can't get on this mountain, then I guess we can't really see Misty Guess. Because that's where he is. Because I remember getting being able to climb on that mountain and everything. Like, can't... Can't do it for some reason. And of course, here we have this. Yeah, I can't see you walk through this one, too. I'm not sure why you walk through these. Oh! I was not paying- <laughs> Oops! Yeah. Well, there's Misty Guess's legs, I guess. Alright, I'm just gonna glitch outside the map. We're just, uh, getting to the main map now, because it's kind of- It does get very annoying. It kind of- you can gotta get uh you can get really impatient trying to wait on Big Charlie to just fling at the map because it it is a really like patient thing because you have to have patience for like walking all the way over here and then having to have him like 
be nice to you and just toss you off the map. Alright, we're back outside of the map. Um, so... I guess, for some odd reason, now you can't go and see Misty Guest, which is kind of weird. Considering the fact that I, I walked on those mountains yesterday, I vividly remember it. I guess not, uh, if maybe Misty Guest does spawn in, you can't walk on them, I don't know. Because it's kind of weird. I, like, I remember walking up this mountain right here trying to find Misty Guest. Oh, here we go, here we go. Might be, you might be able to see him from here. After all, he is kind of walking around and such. He's probably on an invisible um, pathway down here. There's probably like an invisible path that he walks on. That way he walks straight and whatnot. But anyways... The magic is with these mountains right here. Because you can walk on them. But somehow you can't walk on these. Which I could have sworn I walked on them yesterday. I did it. I vividly remember it. Yeah. You can just see, like, that's the main map. Like, this is ending four. Like, that is really close to each other. It really is. And hopefully, yeah, we can still walk on these mountains. Yeah, um, I don't think it really matters or not, because, now, if you do spawn in the cryptids, you will, um, you can still die by them, but their AI, if you do this, like, they do break, um, um, you're probably sitting here wondering, like, okay, how am I gonna get into the main map if there's, you know, if the bearers are there? That's the thing, though. The barriers spawn in until you load upon this map. So, because originally you could do this with ending four, you could go into side the map. You can go inside the map with ease without having like the trees here, because for some odd reason, when you went to ending four, it wouldn't load in, you know, the trees and whatever. Um, um, that's the only tree that does load in out of this whole entire map, but, oh yeah, there's a smile room right there, you can... Now, there is a way, you can enter smile room before you spawn in any of the cryptids, and the maps do load in, just an FYI reminder, the maps will load in, um, which is why, yeah, like that, you need to be careful because you can... Uh, you can jump inside, you can probably get stuck, and then you're forced to reset. Yeah, um, normally you can't go over here, because it's bears. Now, one thing weird about this mountain right here is that this intrudes onto the main map. So, you can't get all the totems in one go without, like, all the cryptids being around or whatever. Because, normally... You're limited, there's like a little invisible barrier, or like a tiny little barrier, that you're limited by, and you can't go in there, so, because yeah, this is like one of the tunnels and whatnot, but the jump scares are still littered in, whatever. Um, Siren Head would like, uh, load in like somewhere over here, because like, you have like the trashed car, you'd have this, and over here would be the, uh, the gas station. But, the gas station is completely covered up by this mountain. So, you cannot get that cartoon cat totem that's inside the gas station. Also, I don't want to say where the totems are, because I'm pretty sure it's still probably a ban if you do say. But, I'm just saying it's in the gas station. But it's just one totem. Oh, what's this? Missing person? Hmm. Last seen, seven devils, macabre peak. Men wearing mine pack have been reported leaving the mountain range along the same time. Then unknown person went missing. We do not sure on the gender or anything. Identify if you recognize the contaminant. Okay, that's new. I didn't even notice that. 
Either that or I'm just dumb. I don't know. Yeah, um, they updated the map. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if this is, like, a part of the map or whatever, but you've got, like, weird water physics going on here. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, it's whatever. But the stuff on how Cult of the Crypt is work is that, obviously, it's just maps really, really spread apart, far apart from each other. And stuff like the statue, stuff like the, or she's not playing any noise. I guess it's trying to restart. Stuff like the statue will stay here, and it won't be able to go away and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on here with, like, the water. You can still walk on it. I guess, like, the physics got it. The physics got it up and increased. But, um, but yeah, you can now officially roam around without the worry of any cryptids around. Now, small jump scares, uh, the small jump scares for the cryptids and whatnot, um, those will still be here, right? You still got the museum, like, all this will load in, because, like, the triggers for the certain areas, they're there. Like, these will still spawn in and whatnot. So, I want to go all the way over here. I want to see if that, like, jump scare van thing kind of... I keep getting spam risk. Hold on. Uh, but... There is, like, at least... I still don't know what's going on here with, like, the water. It's kind of weird. Um, there we go. That'd be spawn, so... So, so, now, there is one thing that y'all probably remember, because I was, uh, messing, I me basically messed around on Cult of the Crypt just now, since I got, like, the majority of every single badge or whatever. Um, over here, if y'all remember in that, uh, messing around with Cyan Head video, and I know that Cult of the Crypt is man would definitely like to do this, there's a plane on, like, a mountain range, but... Since the barriers are gone, can't get to it. Also, by the way, that over there, that's ending one, I believe, because, yeah, I think that's ending one, because, like, um, the mountain, it looks kind of long enough. So, yeah, I think that's ending one over there. And, but yeah, there's, like, a giant plane that rests upon a mountain, like, somewhere over here. And, apparently, you need to load in the main map itself. Now, when you get into the main map, a lot of stuff will... Why is my mouse like that? That's kind of weird. Eh. A lot of stuff will, um... A lot of the stuff will kind of, like, just, um... Apart from these, because... These are, like... These automatically preload in whenever the map loads in. Like, like main Cult of the Crypt is itself. It's also, like, a weird tunnel here. That's the thing about, like, Cult of the Crypt is Chapter 2. Like, you'll think you're safe in this tunnel, but the cryptids won't leave you alone. But yeah, uh, this still works, by the way. Yeah, he still falls. I don't know why he falls through the van, but that's him. Yeah, uh, um, you can still go into the Devil's Pit here, or the, I think this is called the, uh, the Macabre's Peak. Yeah, um, and this map is, like, really, really small. Whenever there's, like, no trees and whatever, the map is, like, so small. Because that over there, that's the cabin. So they really did mean what they said, kind of, like, making the map smaller and whatnot. Because, like, oh boy, did they deliver. So, right here is the library. Now, the unfortunate thing about this is, like... You cannot get any of the sleds. The sleds spawn in alongside the, uh, when you load inside, like, the, the sewer system and whatnot. Now, 
alongside the sewer system, oh, here's the daycare right here and the other stuff, so. Yeah, um, alongside the daycare, oh, this is my picture. Alongside the daycare, there's also, like, another sled over here that the Yeti or, um, also, this is, like, an ice sculpture, ice sculpture of the gargoyle, yeah, that's kind of cool. There's, like, uh, another sled there, and then there's another sled, like, along, ooh, that actually got me at my attention. Man, I got, like, a, one of these other trees that just spawn in alongside with it, so I got this tree here, too. Um, now, there is something new that they added in about Unknown How, and it's, like, right here on the, on the wall, and you can click it, you can read it. Yeah. Warning, have you seen this creature? This creature has been around, has been heard around Seven Devil Industrial District, and has also been heard around the, the daycare. If you have heard this unknown helm, you must report back to the sheriff by law. Help needed, Seven Devils is hiring a new wilderness watch members. You will be paid $50 an hour, and will have to sign a waiver in case of an, a case of emergency or an accident. We are not responsible. So yeah, it basically kind of gives you a hint on how Unknown Howl works, because if you heal the Howl, then, you know, you're sen well, you're essentially dead. Also, I find it kind of weird how there's just randomly a box of Fanta just randomly here. I don't know if that's like an Easter egg or not, but, um, it's there. For some odd reason. Um, so yeah, also... They fixed it to where Chicken Ghost can't enter here anymore, or Demon Chicken, however you pronounce it. They made it to where he can't enter here anymore, and also there's a ladder there. I don't know if that's been there or not. But yeah, um, Anxious Dog, on the other hand, he can walk right through this now. They, uh, made it, because apparently Anxious Dog got stuck on the, uh, um, Anxious Dog got stuck on, like, the fence lines and whatever and was supposed to jump over them or was programmed to. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. What window was it that had the jump scare? I think it was this one. We can, like... Yep. So you can trigger that jump scare from outside. That's kind of cool. Oh god. Man, I kind of miss the old clothes of the Crypt is Chapter 2. Like, whenever all the sounds did work. They're still working on, like, adding in all the other sounds and whatnot. So, gonna have to kind of, like, hold off on that. Also, I have been noticing they've been adding in these, like, signs, like, kind of everywhere. Um, so, you can spawn in the cryptids, as I've said. Also, I actually need to go over to Mime Pictures, because there's actually a really cool secret on Mime Pictures that you probably never noticed before, and it's kind of a weird secret. But, um, we just need to go over here to where it says... One, well, it just despawned because I just left the area, so. Oh no, because I went to the, um, the daycare area, never mind. Yeah. So, that right there, that's where the, um, that's where you choose the cryptids. I believe so, because it does look small, and you can look off the map if you're Siren Head and whatever. And, um, yeah, so. So yeah, you can go into mine pictures here. You can uh, actually trigger the red room dude. Yeah. You can even trigger the boss fight even before you even activate like the other cryptids. I don't think you can open this, right? No, you can't. Okay. Also, like how is the red room? Cause like there's like a red light there. Yeah. Um. No, I mean, like, the map ends, like, right over here. And if you look right here on the back of the sign, there's a mind mask. There's, like, a hidden mind mask. And I don't know how long that's been there. You can try and click it, but it won't give you anything. But, um, hold on, collectibles, mask. Now, 
Uh, I do have all um, the mask and all unlocked, obviously, like the all of these turns in tank, so I don't know. Yeah, hidden gem. I don't know if that could be the hidden gem one, but I'm not sure why that's up there. I tried I tried seeing if I could get up there, but you can't. And in the main game you can't cause you can only go up to like here in the main game. Cause like the barrier starts around like that fence lining right there. So um Um, you can literally activate, um, uh, ending one before, like, any other cryptid spawning, so, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that now. Because all this spawns in. This right here, too, this spawns in, too, so, you can literally click that. Don't move just yet. Right place. Oh, there he is. That's a prop skeleton. The sheriff is safe. Us staged the whole thing. Fully wind it up. Ow. Oh, yeah. I should actually be careful and try not to die, because, um... I should be careful, too, because I don't want, like, cartoon dogs spawning in. I don't think he can get under here anyways. I think it should be safe. Because he's supposed to do, he's like, he's supposed to spawn in, like, Cartoon Dog or whatever. I guess he's not going to, because, chill. Yeah, because normally he's supposed to, like, do all these magical powers and abilities. Oh, yep, there they are. He flung them! Stupid! Oh, I clicked him. He just flung them all off the map. Real nice. But yeah, apparently they didn't want to have interest in me. Eek. He looks so cool. I like click on his thing, but now I don't think the cultists that he spawns in, you can kill him. But he just launched them all, all three of them off the map, so who knows? Okay. Damn, half health. I'm keeping an eye out for Cartoon Dog because. And I don't want to die too, cause like he can ki he can sure kill you, and he'll send me all the way back to Big Charlie. You mad that I despawned your whole map and sh such? I think like the boss fight as intended. You're not supposed to be doing this, obviously. Still no sign of Cartoon Dog. Has normally he also does like this really weird lightning. Oh god. He does like this really weird lightning attack.
I think it's the only whenever he tries to load in the laugh since his other two laps aren't able to. He's running. He's running. I think it's because um, um, he's not able to load in his laughs or the other two laughs. He's not able to like do an attack. So that's probably why. But like, I thought Noah had uh, given permission for the sounds. I guess not. Whoa! What in the world? This dude is like insanity. And the only laugh that was available to load in is like the other one. Hi there. I really like his design though. Not spawning cartoon dog. He's not even trying to or attempting to. Even if he is, then. Ow, okay. I'm not trying to get that close to you, buddy. He is able to spawn in his, uh, his minions, though. But yeah, it is the same cartoon dog from uh, chapter 1. just spawns in. Yeah, um, yeah, so, have the whole town ending set up and ready to go. Uh, we're not here to do that ending. I'm just kind of proving to y'all that, like, you can summon, like, the boss in before, uh, anything else. Also, he's supposed to unlock this cool ritual thing here. Cause... Now, I'm pretty sure, because normally whenever, like, the sheriff car leaves, it just leaves. I don't know where it goes to because it just kind of sits there and whatnot. But we could probably see if it loads in uh, ending one. Because since ending one is over there. Oh, there it goes. Let's turn it around. So. Oh. Oh, so does the car just wait here and wait until it's called upon? So, is he like... Is he inside the wall? Hold on, can we do shift lock? Yes, we can. Oh, the car's just gone. Yeah, like he just goes through the barrier. So yeah, the car is gone for good. Like, once you miss it, you miss it. And I'm preventing that being because you probably can't see it into that ma that section anyways, so. Does this still work? No. 
It does have a mask on it, though. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you can literally just kill this dude. And it's kind of weird, because I don't know if that does break, like, the sequence and whatever. But... I'm pretty sure, like, once you click on that again, like, he doesn't, he don't spawn in. So yeah, you can literally activate ending one before even having to, um, like, spawn in inside the main map if you do this. So... But the cryptids normally don't walk over the human themselves. Like they don't have a set pattern for that. So you should be good. Now one weird thing about the grass is like it's green here, but whenever you load into the main map, it's supposed to be white because it's all snowy here. Which that's kind of my question is time like, the theory about cults of the cryptids. Is it just multiple like universes time? Like, like, was it actually, like, maybe 6 in the morning when we were in the cryptids hideout? Because I have multiple questions that, like, I'm kind of confused on. Like, why is it suddenly day when we leave the cryptids hideout? Why is it suddenly, like, why is it not, um, like, why is it nighttime and snowy when we suddenly come here? Like, that's my concern. Also, uh, you can't, so, you can spawn in the cryptids normally by just going into there, but, alongside, whenever you, uh, whenever you take the elevators into the main map, that tells the game, okay, players are in the main map. So, it spawns in the cabins and a few other parts of the map and whatnot, so stuff doesn't get confused and whatnot. And you can still have this get struck by lightning. Yeah. So that tells that basically tells the map, okay, he's in the map, or they're in the map, you know, spawn in um you know, spawn in the um spawn in the maps and such. Now you can't enter through here to just like where one of the silos are or the trees. Not, um, yeah, there's Smile Room over there. So, you can't enter Smile Room before activating all the cryptids, like I've said. I don't know if Bad Dream spawns in, but, um, just remember, if you want to keep it like this, with, like, no barrier, well, the barriers will stay, uh, regardless if you spawn in the cryptids or not, but, basically, whenever it tell, whenever the game gets told that you're inside of here, and that you took the elevator here and, and whatnot. That tells the map, like, okay, he's in, like, he, you know, spawned inside the elevator. We can spawn in, like, the, um, we can spawn in the barriers and what's ne necessarily needed. Now, as you can see, there's, like, a barrier along here because, firstly, when you exit there, you're not supposed to, like, wander around too far. You're supposed to activate the um, the thing inside the cabin, and then, and then that's whenever the barriers despawn. But um, you can go over here. You can go over here, and you can basically all you need to do is just go over here because the barrier extends all the way to over here. Also, if you keep hearing footsteps, that's the cartoon cat in the maze that you're hearing. Yeah, you go over here, and you can just go around it like that. Now, I do recommend being careful because... Um, when stuff spawns in, you can still die, so... Now, when you enter a smile room, you can... Uh, it will turn it to nighttime here, so... Because I recommend, so I recommend, like, um, I recommend, like, turning it to day while you're in there, even though it will kind of blind you a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend doing so, because it's, like, it's a lot more li uh, limited vision here than, like, over there and whatnot, 
so because you can see a lot more here than uh, when you go inside of a smile room but if you do die if you don't go into smile room um so this is how it works i think it teleports your um your checkpoints all around the place and um since that's the case since that's the case it'll teleport the spawn inside a smile room then when you leave smile room it'll teleport it here so you can spawn inside the um the unused like house and whatever now uh, even though the creator is like dead and whatever it'll still like do all this because naturally you're not supposed to be doing all this but you can get the gun, you know, you can still, like, go through the door, you can still open it. The basement does not spawn in, because it spawns in, surprisingly, with, like, the other stuff, but this still moves, and one cool thing you can do is, like, since you can't get upstairs, yeah, you can still activate that, because that, this is where, like, that bedroom is and whatever, so, um... You can still turn on the lights. And use the kind of program too. I don't think it'll lag anything. I'm just like keeping my mind one on. But you can still uh, click the bookshelf, have it move. Which is kind of cool. Even though you're not really needing it. You're like, you're not really needing it for anything, to be honest. Getting like so many phone calls for some reason, uh, but then you can't hear them. So at this point, so yeah. Um. Anyways, you can basically see whenever the cryptids spawn in now, because once you do this, yeah, you are basically free to roam now, because that that miniature barrier that was like right there. That basically holds you inside. The second you activate this cutscene, it deletes the barrier. Now, you're still free to roam around anywhere. Oh. You're still free to roam around anywhere. But, yeah, creator, you're already dead. I guess it's spirit. Also, that is a different creator than what was like inside the suit, like on that cutscene that we saw. So I'm I'm assuming like maybe there was like a. I'm I'm assuming maybe that was like a glitch, or whatever. Maybe like second second changes or whatever. So I don't know. Man, I remember how much we got lost in freaking close to the captains. Yeah, um, weird thing about this, like, still, you can still get out of the map pretty easily. And one really cool thing about this is, like, if you wait right here, since there's no barriers now, uh, he'll spawn in soon, but, yeah, he'll spawn in. Okay. He spawns in, like, yeah, there he is, there's unknown help. So yeah, Unknown Hell spawns in before God of Roadkill, and which means like if Unknown Hell spawns in, he's able to freaking he's able to like do all these like other stuff, whatever. So yeah, and there's God of Roadkill, which fun fact about him, he's broken. For some odd reason, um, he's not able to move. He's broken. And as you can see, uh, Cartoon Cat spawned in over there. He has the same footsteps, so you'll be hearing that a lot. Um, now, Siren Head, he does tend to move around. As a matter of fact, there he is right there. Uh, he probably will get stuck. Okay, no. Now, I will see what happens, like, if we reset our character and we become a cryptid. Because I'm curious to see what happens whenever that happens and whatnot. So, while they patrol here... Um, we can, we can actually go 
right up to uh, Unknown Hal here. We're gonna actually get a close up look to him inside the game. So what you wanna do, you wanna stay along here, and this will despawn, and you're floating. This is the platform that Unknown Hal stays on. And you can go right under him, you can touch him, you can do whatever you want with him. Uh, he's not gonna be a bother to you. So, the really cool thing about Unknown Hell is like, he stays out of bounds, normally, if you play the game correctly, unlike what I'm doing right now. He stays out of bounds on this invisible platform, hoisted above, like, this right here, and normally, um, normally he'd, um, normally he'd, um, what, what am I gonna say? Normally, he'd, like, you know, he'd howl and then spawn inside the map. Now, when that happens, he gets taken from this spot, whatever part of the map you're in, whatever the part of the map you're detecting him, that's the waypoint that he will go to, and he'll chase you down. If he's not able to get you, or if he kills you, he'll run back to the waypoint. When he touches the waypoint, he'll be brought back here. Now, his platform's pretty big. And you can't jump on it normally, but you can fall on it, you can even bump your head. But yeah, you can touch him too. Now, we are going to be going to the new side of the map that they recently added in. And it's the old mall. They updated the mall in Chapter 2. And they, uh, they made it look like the old mall. So, originally, it was like a new mall add-on and whatnot. So, what could, what you could do is, like, go underneath this overpass here, and then, boom, you just turn, make a right here, and then you'd go to that, like, that new mall and whatnot. And, I don't think, I don't think that needs to be loaded in. Because, uh, um, I don't know how doesn't know that I'm in that area, so I don't want him spawning. Because he spawns, like... Because there's a waypoint that you can collide with where Unknown Hal spawns, and he will... That's where he spawns, essentially, and if he doesn't detect you in an area, I'm pretty sure he just stays right there. Because I don't know where his triggers are, right? Yeah, there's no, um... You can't enter the mall, unfortunately, so... But it is iced over. There's e it even is, like, built up to be looking like exactly in time this like the old mom whatever so that's pretty cool anyway um so the mall's back obviously like i said and it's actually like been taken over by the cultists and whatnot but there's there's no threat over here that i'm aware of um i've never seen it like all builds happen and whatnot with like trees and whatever around because i'm lazy but I'll probably, I'll probably, like, check it out, like, later on or whatever, so. Alright. You can come over here, and it's the family park. Wandering by, wandering the forest by yourself is dangerous. Yeah. So, that prompt pops up because normally it activates, like, a tornado sign. And they copied and pasted the tornado sign over here, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm pretty much assured, like, aware that you're probably not going to go over there because that's normally where the Devil's Tunnel is or, like, where the cultists, like, went and reassigned. But, also, we got this, like, sad to see you leave. But, um, this kind of proves, like, a theory that this is still Seven Devils because if you remember in the original game on the, um, Chapter 1, You'd come from here. Also, I think, like, that's... I don't know if something's supposed to spawn in here, because it's kind of flat over here. I think this is where the old mall was, and they just kind of, like, deleted it. Yeah. They might add something over here. They might not, but... There used to be an ending 5, but they never released it to the public at all. Yeah, so they just kind of deleted it. Yeah. But they kept the um, they kept the square blocks that went that what you went to whenever you touched it, and such. So, oh, oh yeah, that's kind of like a weird barrier barrier breaking the skybox. Yeah, um, 
Normally, you're not supposed to be over here. Because, you know, there's barriers and whatnot. I guess they just build upon it. Which is fine. Oh, yeah, this is just dog. <laughs> this has seven head T posing. Now, one thing about anxious dogs is that now, since there's no barriers for you, or there's no barriers for like the game or whatever, the cryptids are also able to follow you out as well. It's not just you that's able to leave the barriers. So, um, so yeah, so we do have God of Roadkill here, and you can go up to him, you can touch him, he won't attack you or anything. He's friendly. I'm like a anxious dog over there. But yeah, you can go up to him. You can touch him. Like, oh yeah, just be careful like that because you can get flung, flown uh, out the map. Yeah, you can just like go up to him. He won't even attack you. Okay, get up, please, because I can. I don't want like anyone coming in. Yeah. Um. But yeah, um, oh, there's the Yeti. Uh, I don't see Siren Head. Now, there is one cryptid I'd say be careful of, and that is uh, Chicken Ghost, because Chicken Ghost, for some odd reason, that man will not stop. Uh, he will, like, chase you down. He will not stop. That dude's, like, prone to k killing people for some reason. He's killed me, and he sent me all the way back to Big Charlie and whatnot the first time. But yeah, as you can see, Anxious Dog literally just went right through that, um, that porta potty so they made it to where he... They made it to where he, uh, he basically just stays there now. Now, I am gonna flee whenever Siren Head comes over here, because, like... I don't know why, but they made every single crypt just flow around here, except for uh, Sister of the Ever Sharpening Blade. Now, Siren Head, Siren Head can't go over near like the movie, the movie theater where like the Wendigo is, because like that's the only way way his path doesn't even go. But um, I need to be careful because I still kind of. I'm still kind of, um, like, concerned about Unknown Hell and whatnot. Now, I'm pretty sure Unknown Hell does have a new sound effect whenever he do he does attack, so... You will know now, which I don't know why they just didn't take the, um, the old Howl sound effect, because... Uh, if you're new to the game, uh, Unknown Hell, like I said, he pops in and out of the map at random points. And he attacks by howling. Oh, there's Siren Head. Oh, and he turned into a pole. Yeah, um, there's also been a glitch where, um, Unknown Howl will, like, he spawns somewhere around here. He probably spawns, like, around here or something. In this section of the map, because this is like the highway or whatever. He also spawns over there by the um, the daycare. Um, on, on that road. And the reason why I say that is because he has an issue spawning in sometimes because he will fall through the map and he'll die. And for some odd reason. It's because of his, um, his waypoints are collidable. You can collide with his waypoints, and since he teleports through his waypoints and they're collidable, it shoots him through the map. It, sh it uh, makes him go underneath the map and whatnot. So. Okay, is Simon Head walking away? Yeah, Simon Head's walking away. No, he's walking towards me. Yeah, um, yeah, like right here, this thing that I'm standing on. This is the waypoint that, um, or um, this is a spawn, I don't know. This is the waypoint that, uh, Unknown Hell uses. 
because for some odd reason, um, <laughs> for some odd reason, um, unknown how, like, he spawns, like, right here. I guess this human would return to him or whatever. So, it makes him get flung through the ground. And they didn't fix that. Yeah, there's, uh, got a roadkill. For some other reason, he's broken. He's just standing there for some other reason. But yeah, um... Yeah, for some other reason... And it's the same thing for all of his waypoints. They are collidable for some reason, but... Since they're literally hugging the ground, it's, it shoots Unknown Howl out of the ground. Bitch. That is the unfortunate thing about uh, Unknown Howl, because he doesn't just, like, randomly teleport to, like, random waypoints around the map. He, he, um... Like, so... Since this section is loaded in... Unknown Hal's AI will, or the script will tell him, okay, players in, you know, um, you know, or, um, at, like, in the city part. I, I don't know if this is, like, the city part of the industrial area. So, that tells him, okay, players in, like, that area. So, he'll spawn here. But if we're near the cabin, or the circus, I should say, it'll tell him, like, oh... He's, like, he's, like, you know, near the cabin and whatnot. Now, I'm gonna try and get, um, Unknown Hell's, like, new howl on, like, uh, camera. Uh, so that way y'all know, like, what he sounds like or whatever. Um, this is basically that ending 4 glitch, but, um, basically just fixed up and, like, uh, made better and whatever, because... You can now freely explore without the need of barriers. Um, now, I don't know where Siren Head. Oh no, there's Siren Head. He's right there. Oh, he's walking on the mountain. Now, like I said before, just because there's no barriers for you, that also means there's no barriers for the um for the cryptids. That means. Siren Head can literally follow you up that mountain, and if you're faster than him, he can also um, follow you onto like ending four, and he can get stuck there. But minus the fact that he can probably fall off the map and whatever, yeah, I'm probably gonna get start getting running over here because he is kind of getting close. But yeah, um. Yeah, those cartoon cat. But yeah, I might. Oh, is he gonna? Yep, he turned into a. He turned into a bull. So, you can kill unknown Howl when you're over here. So if you want to get him out of the way, or you don't want him like want him to risk you killing you, huh? You can just kill him like right here, right now. I don't know why he's throwing it back though. He is he is really cool though. He's a cool design. Unfortunately, uh, you can't get you can't get the sleds and get any of the cryptids stuck. Unfortunately, which is the sad thing about all this, like you can't get them stuck. Oh boy, he's coming over here. Uh, 
gonna get away from him because he's faster than me and I don't want to kill him, so. Like I said, you can enter smile room and to like reset your um to reset your spawn point over by the cabin. But mind you, this that cabin won't protect you because it's not able to load in, so it's not really much of a protected spawn anymore. So you can still use night vision, also flashing warning right there. Yeah, um, this does break Siren Head. I don't know if it broke, uh, God of Roadkill, and that's why he's, like, right there or whatever. But, um, yeah, Sister there for Sharpening Blade still here. Um, the Windigo's still here. Yeti's, you know, he's right there. Anxious Dog. Um, but the most two who are broken, well... Obviously, um, God of Rogue Kill is broken, but the second one would be Siren Head because since one of his waypoints are covered up, he's not able to get to it. I think two of his waypoints are covered up, so I don't know. So, um, since they're covered up, he can't get to them, or since they're far away, he won't be able to process that, and... He basically stops working, and whenever he stops moving, he'll stop attacking you for some reason. So, that's like a really, really weird thing that I found out. And it happens in the main game too, but it's kind of uncommon to happen. But, um, it basically commonly happens whenever he's on the highway, like over here or whatever, but apparently they moved his waypoints there. Or he just did it twice there. I don't see him. Now, Demon Chicken is your most worries right now because he's just everywhere. This Demon Chicken will not leave you alone. And if you die by Demon Chicken, you know, you're dead for good. And you're ha you'll have to, um, uh, you have to use Big Charlie to get out of the map again. Now, the cryptids will stay here regardless if you die or not, if you're in the map or not. Because they'll just stay here. They don't They don't care. But, uh, hold on. Let me see if... Because I'm trying to get Unknown Hell to spawn since I'm up here. I don't think he'll be able to reach me. Because he does have a pretty big range to kill you. Dog, though, he's just <laughs> he's just everything. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out for Simon here because I don't know where he is. What was that? Y'all hear that? Was that I don't know how? I know I didn't hear that too. No, he's still there because you can see the lump. That's kind of weird. I heard like a weird. Weird noise. Okay, I'm not seeing Siren Head, so I don't know where he went. Now, Siren Head, he does normally patrol, like, over there, too, so... Yeah, Siren Head is just... 
randomly gone. Oh, anxious doggy. Yeah, anxious dog has the least amount of detection range for a person. I don't know if I'm able to hit him. I think maybe, um, Siren Head got stuck because I would have seen him by now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think I see him. Still should be careful for unknown how. Cut it and then see what happens when we go into this, like as a cryptid or whatever. Oh, there's demon chicken. I don't want to go near him. Yes, yeah, Simon has just gone. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, he's stuck. Yeah, so he, over there at Big Boys, that's where he gets stuck the most. So, yeah, um, that's basically how you do this glitch and whatnot. So, uh, you don't. I don't know if like, if maybe. Um, like, if someone were to, like, actually do the main map and you flung yourself out of the map, that if you get in here before they do, you can probably, um, you can probably get the cryptids to spawn in first, and you might be able to glitch the trees, I don't know, because it doesn't teleport everyone to ending four, so... But yeah, um, it still does get rid of the trees for you, and it still does get rid of the trees for you, but it also gets rid of the barriers, since uh, you do get flung out of the map. So yeah, I am, I'm essentially going to become a cryptid now and see what happens whenever I lie, because uh, I want to reset then have it spawn me over there, then see where it p puts me as like a cryptid, like, will it fling me off the map, will it not, like, I don't know, like, will it put me over there where Big Charlie is, I'm not sure, we're, that's what we're, you know, gonna see, so yeah, so we're back in chapter 2 again, we're gonna try and on the, uh, the cryptids one and whatnot, So, we're just gonna see. Okay. It keeps making me move. I'm like lagging. Whoa, what is going on? Okay, that is enough. Holy crap, I'm not seeing that happen. get down here anyways um we're gonna do the big charlie glitch that i just showed y'all and we're just gonna see what happens if we become like a cryptid but 
not just to see where it places us. So, an old lantern. I don't remember that being there, though. So yeah, like I said, we're all just come up here. Have to do all this. Again, I want them to kind of remove the uh, the SCP ambience because the SCP ambience is kind of like, okay, why is it dragging my camera like that? I don't like it. Hand sanitizer, good for starting a fire. Lighter. I remember when you had to look all around the map just to find this stuff. And it was hard to do. But it was still fun back then. I'm glad they changed a lot of the stuff. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how the car didn't catch on fire, but okay. Yeah, um... On to the leading factor of, like, how this glitch works. Basically, since... Big Charlie's uh, humanoid root part, or his control box, basically, the thing that kind of makes him walk around, um, that makes him, it makes him, like, try and adjust himself when you're under him, because you can also collide with the cryptids and whatnot. You have a uh, collision turned on, and so does his uh, hitbox. And... So, since that's the case, he tries to auto-adjust, but since Roblox doesn't like it... Okay. Okay, what is it with this? So, since Roblox doesn't really like it whenever, um, you're inside of, like, um, like a collided part or whatever, uh, basically what happens is, like, uh, Roblox wants to push you out of it because... If it's anchored, then it'll try and push itself away from you. That way, you won't be able to get flung. But, uh, since Big Charlie is heavy, or his or his weight mass is big, he will try and push you... <coughs> excuse me. He will try and push you... Um, out of his way, and, and since your velocity can be greater, that's why he can push you, like, through the ground or whatever. Oh, I know it's very cold out, but we're not... not gonna be doing that today. Yeah, um... Uh, walk through without even thinking, what am I doing? So it seems like he always spawns down there. Okay, I'm gonna wait until he's like, more farther away. Oh no, he just went back. That's probably why he found me the last time, because he has a set path down there. Okay. Wait for him now. Uh, his footsteps start. I am kind of looking forward to Cult of the Cryptids Redemption, but I'm just gonna say it now. I don't like the cartoon cat model. No. It is gr oh the Ballerino Tower. That's in uh, Cult of the Witches Part One. Oh, that's just a woman. 
I would like to explore more of this maze, but Cartoon Cat, unfortunately, is like everywhere at once, so... I'd also say keep moving on your feet, because like, like earlier in the video, he came over to me. He came over here, and I don't know if he's able to get through here, so... So yeah, since we're already back at... Since we're already back at this point, we can go ahead and, um, go over here to ending four. <sighs> get launched off the map. Because for some odd reason, when you get, when you go to ending four, it, it like, it launches you, or it, for some odd reason, Tells the main map to stop loading in the trees. Which, I don't know of any other way of like, to try and fix that. To see if like, it's loaded into the trees with the barriers and whatnot. Alright. Yeah, like I said, you can try and do this with Mother Megatron, but... She does not cooperate with the time, she's dead in like, two hits. I'd be very, very careful if I was you. Like, if you don't want to do it with a mega horn or me 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 mega phone, uh, then you don't have to. And I think Misty Guest did not spawn in. Either that or I'm just wrong. Because normally, uh -huh, Misty Guest is supposed to spawn in. Like, before this. Because this only spawns in whenever you. Uh... Now, I had. The first time that I did get flung off the map by Mother Mega Horn. Um, she does have, like, limited sight range, it's the same as Siren Heads, of course, but, um, she essentially just has one waypoint, she just walks around it, she kind of looks a little bit goofy when she does. Okay, enough with the camera movement. Okay, I don't understand why, why, like, game's doing that, like, okay, cooperate, go to Big Charlie, thank you. Yeah, big, yeah, Misty Gus didn't spawn in this time. I guess he just fell off the map. Also, there's like flies flying around Big Charlie. And I think it's because he is a giant piece of meat. He's like a mutated horse, cow, bird thing. He's related to Little Nugget. I'm also kind of glad that they added in like the, um, the Little Nugget little Easter egg. Oh! Yeah. You will get- that's what I mean, so... Yeah, Misty Guest didn't spawn in, I didn't see his legs. Man, yeah, that's as close as you can probably get to Misty Guest. Now, that map over there to where you see Misty Guest- Oh, no, wait, no, he moved- he spawned in. He just did. I guess my- yeah, my graphics are down, because I just saw him. So, I'll try and see if, like, the, um, if the mountain- is collidable now because I swear I remember climbing on that mountain. I really do. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna become any cryptid, any cryptid in general. I kind of wonder when they're gonna add in the skins for the cryptids because I've heard they're gonna add in like skins and whatever, but 
That never really hit the light, did it? Now, I don't know if we need to be over here whenever that happens, but I'm probably gonna become a cryptic because I don't know if Anxious Dog does have like hitbox or not, but I'll probably become Siren Head. Even though, no, he's laggy. Never mind. I, I'll probably become like Cartoon Dog or whatever. Fling me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, he just flung me a little bit this way. Yeah, so, um, you can still get flung within, like, the barriers and whatnot. Wait, no, did he actually fling me out the map? No, he didn't, because I wouldn't be in here. No, duh. Now, I would recommend, if you are getting flung out the map, because he can fling you pretty far to where you cannot see the map anymore. He's done it to me, like, two times. But, um... You just need to... You just need to kind of... Kind of, like guide and direct your character now i don't think the cartoon cat backpack matters because it this glitch it's a roblox glitch like any entity or npc that has time um, like a hitbox like big charlie's right of her like guaranteed it can be any roblox game now you mostly get flung whenever he moves oh oh i thought misty gus was stuck never mind so, you mostly get stuck whenever, um, Big Charlie moves. Or, you get flung whenever Big Charlie moves. Um, but, no, you can still get flung whenever he's not moving, like that. Because he's just not moving at that point. There's something right there, I don't know what that is. I don't know why the menu doesn't uh, get open itself. I guess they fixed that and whatnot, whatever. Yawn. Oh my god. Anyways, I'll probably head out to the point until I get like flung out the map again. Um, flung out the map again. Okay, so I'm actually out the barrier and. That's how I can tell, so... Uh, he flung me just as far enough to where I actually was able to walk on the bear. So, that's why I kind of tell you, like, guide your character uh, along the way. And freaking Roblox is doing that stuff again. Oh, so I guess Misty Guess is like the same speed as you. Now, there have been several instances where he has fallen over. Oh, I can't, I can't touch that, so. so. Yeah, um. God, this ambience is, like, really unsettling. I'm gonna see if you can climb on this mountain now, because I remember walking on it. I walked on it yesterday. Um, I guess they fixed that whenever, um, Misty Guest was, like, broken or whatever, because he didn't spawn in for the last two times. Nope, you still can't. And that's so weird. I remember you could. Yeah. Uh, there's Misty Guest for you. Okay, I need to get away from the edge because it's starting to do that freaking camera glitch again. Damn. We're just gonna spawn in the crypt and see what happens when we be become a cryptid and yeah, be on our way, I guess. There's normally time. Obviously, with Roblox games, it's no big secret that uh, they hide stuff away from the cameras and whatever. Because normally, I'm pretty sure you can probably get to the main map to over here too. Because um, if somehow you can't get the bearers to spawn in here, which you kind of have to, or if you get flung out the map, but... Your best chance would probably be God of Roadkill, since he does tend to fling you pretty far away. Um, there was one time 
he flung me all the way near uh, the Wendigo. So that was a really big uh, oopsies there. Of course, huh, on my way back, uh, I don't know how it got me. Now, I'd say be very careful, because since um, some buildings do hug the barriers, be very, very careful, because um, a lot of them could still be hugging the um, uh, that pressure point where the buildings spawn in. Now, at first, I thought this was like, where, like, the beginning spawns in, because, like, there's, like, a beginning pet scene, but I think that's a little bit far out and whatever, so... I think that's, like, over in that direction, most definitely, because... So, yeah, there's the fall. So, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna trigger that, we're gonna get killed, or we're just gonna die, or we're just gonna reset ourselves and, you know, become a cryptid, see what happens, like... Uh, will it put us in the map? Will it still take away, like, will it still take away the, uh, the barriers and whatnot? Because, I want to see. Now, this is probably going to get patched and whatever. So, there's your king of pen. Now, the reason why I think the mall spawns in, and the reason why, like, the barriers don't spawn in, is probably because, um, even though a part can be invisible, um, the part still, like, it still makes lag and whatnot. So, you're still kind of fooling around with, like, lag and whatever. So that's what they did. They kind of prevented it hit. They kind of prevented it to where it lags because if the barriers were here while you were in, like, I don't know, the cartoon cat maze or whatever, it would lag. What's that? I don't know. Because I think it makes, like, all the, all, all that stuff over there decent, um, including the, uh, the cartoon cat maze. Yeah, um. One cool thing about this is, like, you can literally just walk up to him. Hi. You can click on it, too. Like, nothing will happen. Yeah, that's my first star. Just reset your character here, <laughs> and then uh, you know you'll spawn back here. Now this does kind of break the sequence of event here, so it says, "Find shelter, start the jeep located on the highway with parts found around the map." Um, I think this is the default objective that it probably goes to if like there's a, a safe fail. So this is probably like a safe fail or whatever, but. As of right now, the main map is like currently in motion, or it's in, it's basically getting to like the motion part. So, even though, even though you're not able to like get out and whatever, you're not able to like see the map, because like, you can't get up here. There's no way in, there's no way you can. Like, you're stopped. You can still kind of see the main map if you try and jump up here and whatnot. Yeah, Noah did a lot more of a better job to uh, build out barriers on these maps, so... Now we just, you know, wait for it to give us the uh, cryptid message and see if we spawn in the main map or not. Because I'm pretty sure it will... I'm just checking to make sure, like, oh, let's see if it, like, takes us here. But, still gonna see if it, um, takes us over here and whatnot. 
I'll probably become like cartoon dog or whatever. There we go. Save the sheriff from mine pictures. He's being held captive. Hostage by the creator. Yeah, this still says the same. Would you like to become a cryptid? Yes. Now, yeah, here we have the, um, yeah, it does, um, vision. Yeah, skin's coming soon, I wish. Oh, yeah, you can actually go back now, which is kind of cool. After the ancient dog telling him, the ancient dog is a Trevor Henderson creation. The mutated dog will ch help throw the chance and rip humans apart. Oh, my mouse is gone. The sister, sister of the ever shifting blade. Uh, so yeah, after this ever sharpening blade totem. The sister is a Trevor Henderson creation. Not much is known about the sister other than in its blade covered face. Yeah, he has a thousand health, he has twelve twelve hundred. And damn. Wendigo is an evil spirit originating from Native American folklore. The massive deer like creatures, the ability to shut up bones of victims. The Wendigo totem. Ooh. Yeah, fifteen. And then Cartoon Cat has the most, I think, out of everyone. I don't know. To find all of our totems, of course. Uh, cartoon Cat is a crept Trevor Henderson creation. The Cartoon Cat wins to destroy anything in its way. 4250. Nothing wrong. The Yeti has great speed and power, will kill anything in this time. This beast is almost three times the size of an average person. Yep. Yep, the Yeti totem. Tone. Silent Head is a Trevor Henderson creature. Yeah, I think this is where you, uh, that area of the map that you see from mine pictures or whatever. And you see, I think it's supposed to be a normal gra or snow grass because the trees are made of snow. So that's one thing that breaks. So yeah. Uh, damn, they don't have a lot of health. Vision, 0.6, damage, 35. Unknown Hell is a Malcro, Malcro 7 creation. Who's Malcro 7? This huge dog-like creature will maul anything in time. How do you get it? Oh, do the game pass. Yeah, that's right. I bought the game pass, actually. Kind of wish you didn't have to pay for him, though, but... Like, find his totem or whatever, because that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's how much health he has. He has most... I think he has the most health out of everyone here, I believe. I don't know. 5,000. What about Dream? Kind of weird. Hell. I don't know how literally takes... Or the creator takes his place. Out of road kill found on old hills. Not much is known about this cryptid other than it's deadly. Thirty-five, and then cartoon dog, which um, Trevor Henderson creation. The cartoon dog instant destroy anything in its way. And then back to anxious dog, but. He can't attack for some reason. He has more health than Cartoon Cat does. Yeah, I think I might become Cartoon Cat. Oh. Oh, so the jump scare still does play for Cartoon Cat. Where 
where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this was taken from the video, but... This was still taken from the video, it seems. Yeah, now... I... Nope, my vision doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you can still become the... It does place you in the... The main map. And... I think we're already out of the map. I don't know. Oh, no, this is like a... Oh no, we're on again that side of the map, okay. still have unknown how heal. I don't know why Cartoon Cat kind of jumps like this. So yeah, still no barriers in place. Oh god, it's doing the camera thing again. Touch the thing over here. So the ambience haven't been uploaded here. Unfortunately. Yeah, none of the ambience have been uploaded here. That's kind of disappointing, though. Yeah, but this, that one still plays for some reason. That's funny when you. That's funny when you're sleeping. Who is that? Oh, it's Chicken Ghost. And what he's doing? broken for some reason. So yeah, you still get no, um... You still get no, um... You still get no barriers, so as a cryptid, you can still explore the map as much as you want to, and you're fine with it. There's no further punishment for it, so... Now, this is just a glitch. You don't have to do this with, like, hacks or anything, so that is a plus side for you. So if you've been wondering how to, like, have random fun or whatever, like, explore the map without the kids chasing you and trying to kill you, then there's your chance. Yeah, I think that'll just be it for the video and whatnot, so... Hours gone.